So guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is my attempt for the Scratch Bills Much Better Challenge. So uh, a few other channels alongside mine uh, are doing a challenge where we have to make different type of implements. Um, we done a, a plow already and uh, so now we decided to do a Much Better. And lucky enough, I actually made two Much Better's already, but then I wanted to make this one in, as well. So I took the opportunity to make it. So yeah, as you can see there, it's a work in progress. Almost complete. Just needs a bit of paint and a few other additives on it. So yeah, stay tuned and uh, yeah, enjoy the video. I grew up in a place where they told you what to chase. Told you how to run the race. Every move was on the page, but I didn't like their way. Had to fight and misbehave Had to find a way to change Had to leave to find my way Caught up in a daydream I beat my mind up there almost daily It's how I pass time, no opinions safely It's how I understand what I want in this place See, cause everybody wanna tell you bad things What could go wrong, what fame brings but So guys, before I show you uh, the, t the Tegan uh, Mux Better that I made for this challenge I'm gonna show you two different Mux Betters I made uh, previously uh, one nearly over a year and a half ago and then this then the Fleming one I made a few months back They're like a really old old style much better um, About four and a half ton much better. Uh, it goes to the back of the vintage tractor I made this at the start uh, Came out very well as you can see it does not have any moving parts uh, oil Except for the PTO can be adjusted uh, As it's a thread of bolt. This is the first time I actually use that system where you can just use a bolt to Extend or de or contract the PTO. Uh, it depends on what tractor you have it on, and uh, just makes it look really well when the PTO is lined up. Um, yeah, it's fine little much better. Uh, it was very simple as you as you know. Uh, that was my older one, and here is my Fleming much better. So as you can see, I made this a few months back. Um, I have done a few different modifications, like extending the drawbar. Uh, the original drawbar was actually that one there. I extended it out even further because it just was it was too it was way too short. Um, uh, this one actually like works, so actually the s spinners go around. I might change them, upgrade them to um, I'm gonna upgrade them to uh, chains because the chains are actually what is actually on it, but they'll do for the time being. The PTO uh, can can just screw in, so when you put on your tractor, then you just screw him out again, and uh, it looks like the PTO is connected connected up. Um, yeah, it looks really well. And finally. For the grand reveal, the Teagle Titan 9, much better. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a fine, fine uh, piece of kit, as you can see. It came out very, very well. Just finished it there about an hour, about even a few minutes ago. Uh, I just want to get the video out for you guys. So yeah, it looks really, really well. I'm very, very happy with it. So it's a complete scratch build. They're all three of them are three scratch builds. Um, I built, built, built them all myself. Uh, this one in particular uh, came together very quickly and I'm very very happy with that out outcome uh, as you can see there's the side big wheels I used on it um, I actually made them put on them treads with hot glue believe it or not uh, they're just on rubber tires and then I put on the treads myself and then sprayed just sprayed the rims black again and uh, use this silver pen for that for the inner rim so as you go around you can see the front PTO which is the big front mesh guard on the top um, the PTO, very same as the older other ones, um, but this is even a more refined one. Um, it has kind of a, tra a box at the back here um, and stuff. So this is the right hand side, so it's the same, looks really well. And obviously, to the importance to the back. So as you see the back, I'll just actually kind of lift these up and show you. So this is a very, um, I really like the back on this, it came out very, very well. As you can see the spinners, they are just three treaded bolts. But uh, that's the best I could do at the moment. I think they'll they'll do all right for a uh, much better uh, scratch for the much better, um, you know. And uh, the fact that I didn't really spend too much money on it, um, and I was busy as well with other things, so I just wanted to kind of get it over with and done with. Um, but I was happy with its, out with its outcome. Uh, really am. Put a little beacon on this one. Uh, there's a beacon very same on the Fleming. Bring down the Fleming and show you. I put a all it is a, is a little small bolt glued with the head on just glued on on the frame, and then just painted orange. On this machine, I used uh, Loctite in its construction, so it's very simple, very very strong design. 
so the design was uh, the whole the whole frame and stuff is all one piece and it's just cut at what this end cut at that end and then bent from a straight piece to like that and then I just overlap the bottoms and then bolted either end and then I bolted on the hitch and then glued on the axle with Loctite uh, put on the rear with Loctite and all the rest and also I put on another movement on this one so this can like stand up it's kind of like a door now I don't know if it stays up or not oh it stays up great wow <laughs> I'm glad I, glad I did that uh, even for the time being uh, so as you can see it looks like it's you know it's, that's what they do when they're muck spreading uh, the door comes up and then obviously then when you're finished it slides right back down very very simple design uh, it's just two shafts with a uh, just two hollowed um, pipes either side, stainless steel pipes, and then there's just a wire going along. Now I made it out of one piece, so it's just kind of a C, and it just slots in like that. Um, it saves, if you made two separate pieces, as much as that's good and all, it'll obviously get weak. So having one just piece, it just makes it all more str stronger. And they just come out like that. Um, they slot in absolutely perfect, and then slot down. And uh, yeah, job's good in there, guys. I put in little brake lights and indicators on the sides, and uh, yeah, overall looks really, really well. My big Teagle uh, Titan Nine, and uh, yeah, it looks really well in the back of the John Deere Six One Nine Five M. I'll put her on her now. So as you can see, it looks really well on the back of the John Deere. Uh, it was kind of built for, to be fair now. Um, it's a big tractor. It's one of my newest per latest purchases for uh, the model farm. Um, or the model collection, I should say, and uh, I said, right, I'm gonna have to make a big muck spreader for it. So it was ideal. Um, now I did make two muck spreaders before this, and I, when I was chatting with the lads, and uh, when they announced they were gonna make a muck spreader, I was like, I'm not there making two already. But do you know what? I was still gonna make uh, the Teagle anyway, or it could have been any type of uh, muck spreader. Just wanted a big one to go on the back of uh, the bigger tractors, you know. So now I've muck spreader for nearly every different era. I've uh, small one for the nut field uh the fleming can go on the back of the leylands and then obviously the teagle can go on the back of the john deers and uh, yeah and the masses so it looks really very really well it's really well fitted so as you can see uh the pto sits in absolutely perfect i'll just zoom in for you guys the housing and uh, then you can just unhook it you just you know detach it and then it will come out well, eventually come out. Long hook anyway, but uh, yeah, that's what that's for the look I wanted to go for, as it is a scratch build design. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, the scratch build challenge uh, video. I'd just like to say a big uh, well done to all the people who took part so far. Um, the lads have been sending in their photos there. Um, uh, very very well done. Uh, their channels are there. They all use the hashtag. Um, that's here. It's scratch builds mug spreading challenge. A uh, big shout out to Scratch Builds who actually came up with the idea as well. Thank you for all you who subscribed to me lately, uh, especially if you came from Model Farmer 6710's channel. Thanks for the shout out, lads. It's great and much appreciated. So, yeah, I'm already at 300 subscribers, so we're going well. So, if you like what you see, make sure to hit subscribe, guys. And I'll leave you with a few shots of the John Deere out on the layout with the Teagle Mug Spreader. So, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Yeah. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I am.